So it's always fun doing a little rack store hunting. We were out and about, mom's in town visiting and she wanted to pop by Burlington's when we were on the way to my in-laws house to go visit and have dinner. And you know me, I gotta look for some cheapies while I'm there. And I did happen to grab two. Let's smell them. So I grabbed one that I have wanted to try for years and years and years now and finally came across it out in the wild. So I grabbed a bottle of Kenneth Cole Signature for 20 bucks. And I also continued to add to my Banana Republic Icon Collection with C Cypress Cedar for 20 bucks, as you can see here. Let's bust them open. First, we'll check out Cypress Cedar, which same old, same old. We've been going over a lot of Banana Republic fragrances here lately. Put that box down to the side. So, very green fragrance from what I understand. I think there's a little bit of rhubarb in it. So, and I like rhubarb in fragrances, so I'm hoping I'll like this one. Let's see if it smells like anything else that I have. Two good sprays and we'll just give it a sec. The usual, you know. Definitely getting some pepper and some rhubarb up top. And there's like an orangey, it's an orangey smell, orange pepper. And I can tell there's a little bit of rhubarb. Uh, yeah, but like an orangey, uh, peppered orange is kind of what it smells like in the opening. Not as green as I expected. I expected it to be a lot more green, herbaceous. And it's actually spicy citrus. Pleasant surprise. A little bit airy too. Doesn't wear too heavy for as spicy as it's coming off. I'm digging this. This is not what I expected in any way, shape, or form. I was not expecting such a spicy fragrance. This is spicy on my skin. Kind of given, dare I say, a Terre d'Hermes vibe, but not so vetiver heavy because I'm not a real big fan of the Terre d'Hermes line. I don't mind it. It's just I don't like them enough to ever want to pick them up. You know, not, they're not the most expensive fragrances, but for what they cost in, I don't like them enough to want to buy them. You know, I know that's blasphemy for some of you because I know there's a lot of fans of the line. But man, this opening is freaking great. This is better than if I was to, to rank the ones I've grabbed recently. I dare I say I put this one at the top. I would put this one, then Oud Mosaic. Then I guess I would rank Vintage Green below that and Leather Reserve last, which I like all four of them. You know, Leather, I'm not saying Leather Reserve is not good. I do like it. Very creamy. But this is, this is great. This screams spring and fall to me. I can see this one being heavy in the rotation for the spring because it's got a nice orange citrus up top with a lot of spice. I do get a little bit of grassy vetiver, but it's not a heavy dose of vetiver. And I think that rhubarb is really playing into that spicy citrus kind of smell I'm getting. Man, I'm, I'm late to the game on this one, I know. But for those of you that have seen it out and you've passed it up and procrastinated, if you like a spicy citrus kind of grassy green kind of fragrance, you might like this one because I'm uh, pretty happy to get it. I actually like this one. Like I said, dare I say this is my favorite Banana Republic fragrance that I have picked up as of late. And I've picked up this is like the fourth one in recent memory in the last few weeks like this one the most let's check out kenneth cole's signature hmm. now that is a wide bottle with some super dark colored juice big faux wood cap that oh it's magnetic it's a weak magnet though yeah can't pick that one up by the cap very weak magnet but i, I guess that's cool but definitely not a fragrance you can pick up by the cap there's no way i mean as you can see there's no effort whatsoever for that to come up let's give it a spray so i did look at the note breakdown it's got orris and violet that's what really drew me in it's supposed to be like a powdery floral type of scent and uh kenneth cole's never steered me wrong i've never smelled a kenneth cole fragrance that i didn't like um is it it's not my favorite designer house but i do like a lot of their offerings and no breakdown really intrigued me, so I, that's all I really remember about it. We'll give it two good sprays. 
Don't want to breathe through my mouth yet. I mean my nose yet. And we'll just check it out. See what kind of scent profile I get from it. A lot of violet up top. Not so much a petroleum Dior Fahrenheit kind of violet though. It's a, it's a lighter, much more floral. I mean, it's a flower, but it's got a more floral spell, smell than a petroleum gasoline kind of smell. So don't think Dior Fahrenheit when I say a lot of violet up top. Not that type of violet. Though there might be a little hint of that though. There's a little citrus here, but I can't really tell what. It doesn't come off like a, a grapefruit or a lemon type of citrus. There might be a little bit of orange, maybe. Yeah, I want to say that's a little bit of orange, but it's not a lot. It's not the kind of dose of orange that I got from Cypress Cedar. Cypress Cedar had a good dose of orange, probably like a bitter orange because of the way it blended with that pepper. Yeah. This almost has a little bit of a metallic quality to it in the opening, the way the violet's coming off. It's almost got a violet leaf kind of metallic quality to it. Definitely coming off a little powdery, but it doesn't smell, it's not a powder bomb. It's kind of like a masculine floral, if you will, because I'm getting a little bit of citrus, a little bit of orangey citrus is what it smells like. I'm getting a lot of violet, and that's pretty much what's really standing out to me. Maybe a little bit of woodiness, adding that kind of darkness, uh, dark undertone I'm getting from it. Yeah, there's definitely some woods back there, but I just, it's not coming off like some creamy sandalwood or a sharp cedar or anything like that. It's just got a woody type of smell. I don't know if it's woody notes that are in here or if there's a specific wood. But I'm sure that orris is playing a part in adding this powdery floral nature to it, but the violet... It's got a little bit of a petroleum vibe now that it's settled down. Not much. Like I said, don't think Dior Fahrenheit. I don't know how many of you have tried this, but it doesn't smell like my other fragrances. That is a wonderful thing. That means it'll, it's got a better shot at making it through the rotation more often. I don't know what performance is going to be like, but the scent DNA doesn't smell like other things in my collection. It doesn't smell overly unique, but it's kind of doing its own thing compared to other fragrances I have. Like I don't have one specific fragrance or even a few that are coming to mind. Well, it kind of smells like this, kind of smells like that. I know there's things it smells like, but not really things that I have. So, cause, Kenneth Cole doesn't really do a whole lot of unique DNAs, and I'm not saying this one's a unique DNA, because I'm sure there's something out there that it smells like, or it's a designer version of a certain niche fragrance, but I just don't have that fragrance. So it's unique in my collection, essentially, which is a wonderful, wonderful surprise for me. Because you can look at a note breakdown, and what you smell versus what you see can be two different things a lot of the times, and... I'm definitely getting plenty of violet and the orris isn't coming off real waxy. It's just kind of add, adding a powdery floral touch to it, but I am getting an orange. I'm curious if there's like a mandarin orange in here because it does have an orange type of smell to it and just a nice woody undertone. There's no herbs jumping out at me. I'm not getting a lot of green notes or anything like that. I'm getting woods. I'm getting violet. I'm getting floral powder and I'm getting orange. Don't know how accurate that is. That's what it smells like to me off of my hand to my nose. And it's smelling like it's going to perform pretty well. So yet to be determined. This one might creep in the rotation here in the next week because uh, we're gearing towards the end of the rotation. This is Saturday. This is the last day of my weekly rotation. This might come up next week. I don't know. I, I like it. It's different. It's masculine. It's got it's a little classy but not so formal and serious that it can't be a daily driver to work. This smells like it could be a really good work fragrance. Three seasons, spring, fall, and winter. So pretty happy to get this one. And uh, actually pretty happy to get this one too. This is, like I said, my favorite of the four recent Banana Republics I've gotten. So yay for me. Very happy with both of these blind buys. If you see them out, give them a shot. If any of this sounded interesting to you, but uh, at Burlington, 20 bucks a piece. 
Well, guys, that was me roaming around the fragrance section of Burlington. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried these already? I'm late to the game on both of these. Cypress Cedar had, you know, two years under its belt now. Going on two and a half years, I think. I want to say 2018 it came out. It's been around a while. I know Matt, Georgia Gent, shout out to you. I know he likes that one a lot. Um, and then Kenneth Cole's Signature, that's been around a long time. I know I'm late, very late to the game on that one, but... Really digging it. It's kind of different. Yeah, very violet heavy. If you like violet, you'll like this one. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one of these and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.